Welcome back, brothers and sisters. I am Braden. This is Langley Outdoors Academy, and thank you for stopping by. All right, guys, the content that I'm going to bring for you tonight is something that we touched on about a week to a week and a half ago out of Colorado. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. You need to send this one out to every gun owner that you know because this has the potential to unravel all of the gun control that we've seen from AR bands to mag bands. Earlier this week, we did a video around uh, Benitez's case where it's also unraveling gun bans. The Bruin medicine is taking effect and the patient is responding. This is incredibly important because Colorado just took a massive step forward in unraveling these AR bans, mag bans. This is big and I am not overselling this. Everything is going to be linked in the description box below. I cannot wait to hear what you guys think about this one because this, this is the reason that we fight because we can achieve it if we focus together. Now I'm going to say a quick word from a new sponsor that made this video possible, Kamikoto Knives, and then we're going to jump right into this. Again, I cannot wait to hear what you guys think on this one. Now the sponsor for this episode of Freedom is Kamikoto Knives. Now of course, knives are a little outside of our realm, but every single two-way advocate needs to fuel their body, and to do that, you need the right tool in the kitchen, which is why I want to show you guys these things. These Kamikoto Knives are legit. Right out of the box, check out not only the exquisite design and the nature, but look at the balance on that knife. I got a few things to tell you about them. I can't wait to hear what you guys think, and we're going to hit it in one second. The knives are made with a high-quality Japanese steel using traditional techniques. Each knife is individually inspected and comes with a lifetime guarantee. The knives come in a heavy-duty ash wood box, which makes them a great present. The knives are used by Michelin star chefs all over the world, so why shouldn't they fuel your freedom in your kitchen? Now, Kamikoto has several special offers going on right now and is offering my viewers an extra $50 off on any purchase with the discount code Langley. On top of their special offers, go to kamikoto.com slash Langley to get your knife set and help support our channel. All right, so let's get into this, and I've got to reiterate one more thing. This would not be possible. Everything that we're about to cover would not be possible without everyday, normal, run-of-the-mill patriots like yourselves activating. This is what we're seeing in the court system. Imagine what could happen if we all activated for this coming November. The results can be off the charts because the only thing that will defeat us is if we admit that we are defeated, and that ain't happening anytime soon. Let's dive into this. As I mentioned, everything is linked. I am, I am amped. All right, let's get it. Federal judge temporarily blocks Boulder County's ban on large capacity magazines and some semi-automatic weapons. I'm talking about the AR ban, okay? The judge's action marks the latest victory for Rocky Mountain gun owners in its fight against gun restrictions across Colorado. Now, this article is from August 30th. This is yesterday. The reason that this is so epically magnificent is Colorado in the summer of, I believe, the summer of 2021, spring of 2021, they passed a law, a bunch of gun control laws that passed. And one of them was repealing preemption. Preemption is something that basically said, hey, Every single city, every single ordinance can make their own laws and everything. That's what we're talking about. Multiple different cities in Colorado have banned ARs directly as a result of getting rid of preemption, one of the gun controller's main things, and it's in a lot of the remaining states. But this is the result once the Bruin decision came down. Check this out. Oh, it is amazing. A federal judge issued a temporary restraining order Tuesday blocking Boulder County from enforcing its bans on large capacity magazine and some semi-automatic weapons. The latest victory for Rocky Mountain gun owners in its fight against gun restrictions in Colorado. Now this is important because Boulder County. Now Boulder County has a bunch of different cities we're about to go into within that county. This applies to all of them. Now going back to a video that I'm going to have linked. The town of Superior also put a temporary restraining order on the AR bans we covered about two weeks ago. Let me know if you guys remember that down there in the comments because it's starting to spread. We've got multiple cities now and they're even asking for consolidation, which makes a big deal, a big, big deal. The ruling follows a nearly identical decision by a different judge last month prohibiting the town of Superior from enforcing similar gun laws after the Loveland-based gun rights group filed a lawsuit. Now, we covered that. Like I said, it is linked if you want to see the original because this is the front lines and it is moving in a direction that I like to see. U.S. District Court Judge Charlotte Sweeney issued the restraining order against Boulder County, ruling that the Rocky Mountain gun owners and its legal arm, the National Association for Gun Rights, as well as Boulder County resident Martin Carter Kehoe, established a likelihood to prove their case in challenging the constitutionality of two sections of the ordinance, the mag bans and the AR bans. The uh, bump stocks, that didn't make it in, but we're talking about ARs and mag bans. 
crucially important pieces of this legislation in multiple cities. And here's the quote. I put this in my video last month about the exact same case when it was starting. Quote, Last month, we promised our members we would sue over these unconstitutional gun control laws. And today, we are making good on our promise. Taylor Rhodes, executive director of Rocky Mountain Gun Owners, said in a written statement, quote, again, it doesn't matter how big or how small the localities are. If you pass unconstitutional gun control, we will sue you. Again, a direct answer to the banning or removal of preemption. The fight is getting spicy and the front line is Colorado. All right, this is where... It has potential to go nationwide because everything is consolidating. After the judge's ruling, the city of Boulder said in a news release Tuesday evening that it would voluntarily pause enforcement of its ban on some semi-automatic weapons and large capacity magazines, quote, to allow time for more legal coordination among neighboring jurisdictions. Why neighboring jurisdictions? Because there's multiple lawsuits from the same jurisdictions that did the exact same AR and mag bans. Because Rocky Mountain Gun Owners, or National Association for Gun Rights, sued all of them. This is important, this part right here. Boulder County and the cities of Boulder and Louisville are seeking to consolidate their cases with Superior. We're going to come to that in one second. So that there could be one court hearing to determine if the temporary restraining order should, have been, should be extended through the duration of the lawsuit. Rather than having separate hearings decided by separate judges, Taylor Tate said. This is incredibly important because if you remember back and you watched that video that I did on the temporary restraining order of Superior, the judge in that case even said the plaintiffs, or in this case, Rocky Mountain Gun Owners or National Association for Gun Rights, is likely to win based on the premise understanding by Bruin. This is massive because if they consolidate all of these cases and you've got a joint case that gets struck down and the temporary restraint or restraining order stays in effect, you now have precedent nationwide. Correlate that to the judge ruling that we're going to have from California and San Diego from Benitez, and you're starting to see Bruin, like I said in the intro, the medicine start to take effect. And that is why I'm so amped, and I cannot wait to hear what you guys think in the comments field below. Let me know what you think, and I will see you tomorrow morning on The Bullet Points. I'm Braden. See you later.